sound triggering the moment that a tanker carrying 4,000 gallons of jet fuel exploded on the east side of Indianapolis. Frightening moments for drivers today, and you can see this black smoke billowing up into the sky at 465 and I-70. Three people rushed to that semi today and pulled the driver out of that inferno. We're told the driver now is in the hospital. When you take a closer look at all the videos that were shared with us today, and you see that big cloud of smoke there, it's hard to imagine that anyone was able to survive this. Yeah, but thankfully, despite the intense heat of the flames and the impact of the crash, no one has died. Even though the smoke is gone at this hour, that crash continues to impact traffic in the area on the east side. And we've got Rich Van White joining us live tonight at 5. He's got a look at the work getting underway. Rich? Scott, right now, it's about cleanup and damage assessment. First of all, the cleanup. You can see on the bridge behind me there, there's a very large record. It's been there for quite a while, trying to pick up and remove the tanker truck. There's not much left of it. We are told it was split wide open from end to end. When that happened, it spilled thousands of gallons across that bridge. It rolled over both sides of the bridge about 500 feet, a wall of fire. Firefighters had a tough time getting through. They had difficulty actually reaching the tanker to reach the source of the flames. According to the firefighters, they went through all the water they had with them. When they ran out of that water, they had to call in additional tankers. State police say they were fortunate those flames didn't set other cars on fire that were in the area. The truck driver, he got himself out of the cab, but was unfortunately caught up in the flames. We're told that he was fairly close to the tanker when it exploded. He was standing near the truck when it exploded. That caused injury to him. He came down the hill where the bystanders put him out. The state police were able to put him in a car and care for him until IEMS got here. Did those good Samaritans save this driver's life? Oh, without question. Without yeah. question, they saved his Without life. question, those good Samaritans saved this driver's life. The driver is critically burned. He is hospitalized. The bridge was damaged. In amongst the people trying to pick up the wreckage are inspectors from the Indiana Department of Transportation. They're going over that bridge. There was damage. It's their job to determine if it was superficial. They call it spalding when the surface pops off the top of the concrete like popcorn or if there is structural damage. When we get more information, and we hope to get more information in the next half hour and the condition of the bridge, we'll let you know about it. All right, Rich, thank you. Karen Campbell continues our live team coverage tonight. She's got the videos that viewers took of today's fire. Yeah, you know, this really had to be terrifying for everyone who is out on the road tonight and having this happen around them, Karen. Yeah, I mean, you know, the videos are unbelievable from, you know, those who sent us. Mm -hmm. They were actually on the road at the time that this fire happened again, 465 and I-70. Now, this, of course, you're seeing is a bird's eye view from NDOT cameras. Of course, you see that thick black smoke covering the highways. You see drivers are still able to continue on I-465. But take a look at this next video sent in to us by Leslie and Sarah. She was on her way to Greenfield when she captured this. She heard a loud pop. Scary moments right there. Now also we got another video in from Sam Records. He was on I-465 North when others in his vehicle captured this video of the fire. He says just beginning. He also said they heard loud pops as well. And you can see the flames, he says, spreading down the banks of, uh, of that overpass. And check out this video sent in by Matt Stratton. You can see NDOT crews and several first responders on the scene, paramedics. Uh, eventually you'll see them. They were rolling up a stretcher toward uh, the tanker driver. So uh, you can see just how massive this explosion was. And of course, we wish that driver a speedy recovery. And of course, a big thanks to those good Samaritans who rushed in to save him. And of course, this is impacting the evening rush. And NDOT wants drivers to avoid that area. And they say, take I-465 around. Scott Emery. All right, thanks so much, Karen. We're gonna be keeping a close eye on the work being done on that uh, overpass tonight. That's yes, right, and when we learn of any new developments, we'll send you an alert on your phone. Also, don't forget, you can always go to our website, WTHR.com. There also, we have the latest information of the opening of the road and the inspection results of the bridge. In the meantime, you can also check out all of the videos and images that were sent in to us from viewers. Thank you so much for that. We have them all for you at WTHR.com. And we've got more.